The 2016 win was when he, when he devoured Joe he held it for nine points to play. I suppose that was probably Jamie's, I think that was his tour de force performance, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, you could also go to that game against um, Galway in 2015 when he got the DDT from... Three nine, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, he was unbelievable that 3-6, sorry. And then, to be honest, and didn't he get 3-8 against Galway in 2014 as well? Like yeah, game was, yeah. Like, to be fair, he is underappreciated in terms of some of the best hurlers of all time. You look at the scoring that he's done. 40 championship goals, all of them from open play. And you can talk about all the brilliant players that we've seen in the last number of years. And, you know, you could talk about Joe Canning, TJ Reid, Henry Shefflin, all these players... And he's right there in their company because no, none of them, come, and Patrick Horgan as well, they're all unbelievable players and deserve to be in the conversations with the, with the greats. But in terms of modern greats, nobody comes even close to the amount of goals that he's scored from championship open play. And not only that, you know, unlike some of the other um, players that we've mentioned there that are playing against weaker teams in Leinster, mm -hmm. he's doing that against the big teams all the time. Like mm -hmm. we're talking there like, Eight championship goals from play in the 2019 season. And every game, scored a every goal. single game. So yeah. I still I can't get my head around the fact that he isn't always mentioned when they talk about the the absolute greats, particularly of the modern game. We can't talk about Christy Ring and mm. whoever we didn't see them, but like he's right up there. Like he's as good as Atten that we've ever seen in modern times uh, in terms of hurling forwards. Oh, look, he just he just added everything. He finishing ability, size, stature, and yeah, I just was ranting on, on that on that statement, the, the way he, he he particularly thanked him and O'Shea. There's not look go through the timeline of Seamus Callanan had two eras. The eight the eight twenty eight two thousand and eight to twenty thirteen, he did bits and pieces for tip, but from twenty fourteen onwards he was so consistent 